Hi right, everybody, I, I promised a longer update for Ice Mageddon day two here in Texas. Uh, we've gotten easily in some spots an inch of solid ice, but what's interesting is, I don't know if, if you can hear this as I walk, it's starting to crack and I'm starting to, oh geez, I'm, I'm starting to fall down my, uh, down my property here. You can see my property is pretty, pretty slopey. We fall down to our retaining wall here at Sable Row in front. Uh, this has got a lot of slope here. It's probably, I don't know if it's easy to see. You can definitely just stand here and slide as if you were skating down here. I actually did that over there earlier, trying to check on our Butea. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, so we got plenty of ice, as I said, about an inch of ice. Um, it really isn't terribly cold it's like 26 27 degrees it's been basically hovering at 26 degrees um, for the last uh 24 or so hours um you got plenty of ice on on cars and stuff like that but uh i'm just gonna walk you around just so you can see hopefully i don't fall and die on this around so you can see me skating over here it's pretty funny actually um I say that until I, oh, wow, that's some serious ice. So here's here's Sable Row up, up front. Here's this Butea. If this thing doesn't spear pull this time, oh, boy. There I go. I just literally slid down this hill. God almighty, this is crazy. Um, if this thing doesn't spear pull everybody, this thing is going to be the, the most amazing of all genetics. This one in the 10 degree 10 degree, 10.6 degree, didn't spear pull, while a mature one did, unprotected. So we'll see. I would be shocked if this thing doesn't spear pull. It's done it in the past. So, anyways, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm going to try to get down to my culvert. My assistant here is about to slide. Yeah. yeah see. Wow. Pretty wild. Ah, there's a wall. Yeah, I know. So, as you can see, here's my Birmingham. I mean, all of these guys are pretty much caked in some serious ice. This isn't this isn't going anywhere. There's a a good amount of ice here. Some spots, honestly, we're getting closer to an inch of ice, and you can see there's this yellow coloring on the uh, on the strap leaves and leaves and stuff like that. People up north, you guys already know about this. It, this happens over the winter time. Um, they come back. They're fine. But, uh, yeah, there's a pretty good amount of ice here, everybody. Check this out. It's like an ice skating rink. It is like an ice skating rink, he says. Here's my Tamalipas, which just got planted literally right before Ice Mageddon, probably about a month or two before. So we'll, yeah, we'll show you just how good these look <clears throat> after, after all of this. You'll be shocked, everybody. I keep getting told I'm crazy for putting out all this stuff, um in this way and planting and not being so concerned about these things but i'm being pretty serious when i tell you everybody that uh you can plant your sables all year round even through this nonsense man this one can come out because <sighs> i did this last year in january and we had uh 16 degrees for two days and it literally rained and it was more ice than, than this like, here's my bermudana just solid frozen solid nice she'll be fine come this come uh once it warms up on Friday, we'll already start getting nicer. Back in the in the 60s again. Here's my Urensis. Uh, these guys all just look rough. It's just kind of comes with the territory of being cold and frozen. It's a Miamiensis. Just a ton of ice here. Brazoriensis. My dwarf miner. And Louisiana. Now, this is going to be an, the interesting part is getting up here so I can show you. I mean, talk about a hill. Um, let's see if I can even get up here. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's go this way. Slide. Are you really going to go on the bridge here? Yeah, the bridge is easy. And then walk up here. And then I need to... Ugh. As you can see, I slide down here every single, every morning. Um, but you'll see. I mean, it's definitely pretty icy out here right now. It's pretty crazy, honestly. Uh... Uh, you know, for everybody who's not from Texas, you, you don't appreciate uh, our ice storms. I'm from Illinois originally, and so I'm used to snow and cold and frigid ice. There's my son sliding. It's like a hockey rink out here. 
it's, it's actually pretty cool. As you can see, here's our, our Butea Jubea hybrid covered. I covered both of our Buteas because I, I didn't want the, oh, don't touch it. I didn't want the ice and, uh, and anything on the crown, which was a good idea. This guy's going to come through spotless, which is going to be great news. And I'll keep doing that in the future as we go forward because he's one of the ones I'll take care of. Pool stuff is running. Uh, here's a minor Emerald Isle Giant. And you'll see everything around here is, man, there's just a ton of ice. It's intense. This is a, just a lot of ice. Pools running. Um, just a quick little walkthrough. I mean, everyone's got, you know, I, I, I have buddies up in Tennessee and uh, their stables definitely look rough in in the winter time there's a rosy eye i mean i expect probably some pretty good pretty good color damage on some on these fronds over the next week or two there's my bermudana which man these are not leaf hardy at all it's disappointing but anyways he'll be fine he'll grow back just as he already was um i expect some color damage you know they won't look too too nice for the first couple month or two but I completely expect all of these. I don't expect to lose a single man. It's it's it's, it's like I'm over a pond. <laughs> this is my backyard, everybody. It's crazy, man. It's just a ton of ice. Um, I don't expect to lose anything, to be honest with you. I really don't expect to lose anything. I mean, I've left these things out and worse. Uh, and I'm actually afraid to go to my backyard over here and show you the back part of my yard because I'm going to slide uncontrollably this grade. Here's my windmills. Alan, I know you're probably crying right now, but these guys have been through worse, man. These guys went through 2021. I hit negative 1.8 uh, on the Fahrenheit scale, and they lived, so they've earned their spot. I, I, I keep saying that. Uh, bees are asleep. They'll come back on Sunday, on Saturday, Sunday. Uh, what's funny is, kind of funny, not funny, is you'll see, I, I can walk over here because they're asleep. Uh, we actually had some blossoms almost open up on my pluots. Actually, one tried to open up. A lot of them stopped, which is good news. Hopefully, these guys will come back, and this is a... a, a a pluot. I have a pluot over here too that hasn't leafed out yet. But man, it is crazy icy. This guy was about to leaf out too and blossom, but he stopped himself. So hopefully a bunch of my apples and peaches and stuff like that tried to leaf out. Hopefully they get themselves together and uh, they're able to be happy through all this. Um, and again, what's kind of funny is it's 26 degrees or 27 degrees. Uh, I live through so much worse in Illinois. This is like no big deal for me. So, man, I can hardly, like, walk up any of these inclines. This is intense. It's going to be a, just a metric ton of water after this melts. So, it's funny driving around town on Sunday, uh, seeing so many yards that were greening up. And if you saw my video of my bees on Saturday, uh, you could tell that the, uh, the pollen, dandelion, and all kinds of other weeds are growing. Uh, so... Sorry, just trying to put on a glove. So definitely be between the trees trying to flower, bees doing their thing. Hold on. Sorry, everybody. Uh, between all that, you know, plants and bur or bees and stuff like that, definitely thought that uh, Spring is here, so we'll see. Come come this weekend, hopefully. Even on Thursday, we get back in the 40s. Friday, back in the 50s and 60s, and almost 70 degrees on Saturday, Sunday, with some... Uh... Holy cow. This ice is just absolutely intense. We were supposed to get some more ice today, but that didn't happen. We, we didn't get any more pre precipitation, but we got a metric ton yesterday. And just the fact that I'm walking around my backyard like this, I seriously... I feel as though I'm in a pond. Um, it's just very, very interesting. Uh, sorry, just trying to kick off the ice off the Louisiana here. Louisiana, my Mexicana. You know, lots of these guys are just going to look rough 
for a little bit. Holy cow. Probably hear that. Wow, look at that. Talk about ice, guys. If you haven't been in Texas for an ice storm, I'm going to have you experience it here with me. And it'll be very interesting, right? I mean, that's what I said, the charter of my channel. Holy crap. The charter of my channel is very, very simple, guys. Uh, we're going to prove that sables, my hypothesis is that sables are the hardiest palms in America. Outside of the needle, I get it. Um, look at that. But we're going to prove that we can grow a lot of things here in North Texas. We can grow a lot of these trunking palms that over time will obviously trunk, will look nice. And they can live through our winters. Uh, and I plan on documenting all of this throughout the years. So I hope you follow along. I'm going to have some more evidentiary stuff, I think, day three tomorrow. You can see my pools completely. Holy cow. My pool is completely, it's still running, obviously. I probably can't even open the gate. Oh, I can. Uh, this may be a terrible idea. I may die. Um, but here's my pool drains, completely iced over. Look at that. But it's not solid ice, because look, there's water underneath there. That's moving around. See it? Look at that. It's... It's not cold enough for it to completely freeze, which is really weird, man. It's like 28 degrees outside, uh, 27 degrees. And, uh, I mean, you would think that it's like 10 degrees, which is, you know, we just went through that. 10.6 degrees just a month ago. And, uh, I mean, it's, we, we got some plenty of frozen stuff. But just got to kind of stay off of all this. Let it all recover. Let it all melt by the weekend. It's funny, that's one of the things that I've learned about being in North Texas is that uh, our weather changes so dramatically. And within a couple days, we won't even know that it was, that this just happened. Um, it's, it, it's very interesting, guys. We're definitely getting some interesting weather. Just as so you can see, you know, my beloved Riverside. We'll see how this guy looks. I, I fully expect some browning and some damage to him. Just because ice is, ice is never good on anybody, man. Ice isn't good on me. Oh, he even has a broken piece of, uh, oh no, that's just ice. And, uh, and, and, uh, I will show everybody as we go forward what this looks like. Uh, so like and subscribe, pay attention. I'll be posting more updates. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one, and I will talk to you soon. Stay safe, everybody, in North Texas.